Fast cast movies. Batman v Superman. Dawn of Justice. So I finally got around to watching this movie. I'm not excited about it. DC superheroes have never been my favorites compared to Marvel. On top of which, I had not seen Man of Steel, which probably would have helped a bit, but eh. So this is the movie that's supposed to kick off the big DC experience, where you've got Aquaman, Flash, Wonder Woman, Batman, Superman, Cyborg, yeah? There will be spoilers in this review. Open, giving you the origin story that you've seen a million times before. But this is a different Batman, an old and grizzled 50-year-old Batman, who sort of hung up the crime-fighting cable. Events have sort of forced him into it. Those events being General Zod coming to Earth and Superman fighting him and destroying half of Metropolis while that was happening. And Batman, basically really mad at Superman. So they're gonna fight. Uh, I pretty much agree with a lot of the other reviews. This isn't what Superman is supposed to be like. They're both uh, about each other and about the world and about everything. And, and that's not Superman. Superman is upstanding. He's all about hope. And there's very little hope happening in this movie. Knowing what I knew about the movie going in, the reason why I let myself sit through it for two and a half hours is I was dying to see Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman, possibly my new celebrity crush. I cannot wait to see the Wonder Woman movie. I think she's a great choice for that character. Obviously, they haven't done much with her yet, but watching her throw down with Batman and Superman against weird alien hybrid thing, she holds her own. This is a no-nonsense Wonder Woman, and that's awesome. So the only reason I watched this movie was because it was free. Had I had to pay for it, I probably wouldn't have, as evidenced by the fact that I didn't get around to it until now. Oh, and of course, you have to say something about Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor. I know some people think that this was sort of a betrayal of the character, but I actually really dug it. I thought that he did a good job chewing the scenery. This idea that, like, Lex Corp was started by his father and named after him, that's a kind of a cool new way to take the character, and I don't have any problem with evolving character. The one other thing I will say about this movie that was confusing, there was definitely an element of strange mysticism happening. Batman having these dreams and these premonitions, which were, like, real. Like I said, I didn't see Man of Steel, so I don't actually know if this franchise has put its foot down yet regarding whether mysticism is a thing or not. Obviously, aliens are a thing. Obviously, 100-plus-year-old Amazon women are a thing. And obviously, cyborgs are going to be a thing. Men from Atlantis. I'm not sure how much I like that. If you're interested in spectacle and little else with a plot that makes a little sense, but not a lot, and you can watch it for free, I would say give it a shot. Probably give it about a C. Fastcast Movies, see ya! Hey, thanks for watching the Fastcast. If you like what I do here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter at Mr. J Handel. And remember to check back because I do this a couple times a week. Thanks a lot, everybody. Fastcast!